Hi guys, welcome to this video. It's um, me on VirtualBox, right? Set as H is enabled. This theme is working here. And the topic of the video is the Arcalyx Tweak Tool. We have this article on arcalyx.com. On this website, there is lots of information. This is where you start. And then it's really up to you what you want to learn. Kernels, logout, printers, it's all divided into categories. So this video is about the tweak tool, not knowing where it is, you use the search, right? Tweak tool and you apply and you wait and you scroll down and here you see everything you need to know about the Arclix tweak tool and more and more content. So I want to keep everything in one thing. Now the tweak tool has been changed considerably, right? Last two months, July, August, September, there's still a lot of lot of ideas in our brain so it will constantly change and what we do is we post videos on YouTube saying okay this tab has is new there's a new tab or there is an improved tab or something like that so there is a long a list of um, videos that all about the ATT as we call it in short Arcalyx tweak tool so every single time we put videos on YouTube they also are in a playlist so if you want to have all the videos about kernels, you'll have it in a separate playlist. Everything about Plank, everything about Polybar, etc. So it's a cool way to gather everything in one place. So this video, I'll put it on, on, uh, up here above the playlist so you see the latest state. But the latest state is always behind, right? Because we are in full development. But we need to have a look at at some point in time, right? So we have all these tabs that are new, have been improved and so on. Let's have a look together. We need to remember a keyboard shortcut, Control Alt E, E from Eric, maybe that helps in remembering <laughs> that that's the tweak tool, right? So we start by saying everything is alphabetical. Okay, it's alphabetical, fine. We start also by telling this is new restart att sometimes an application needs to rerun to restart to take a look at themes oh, there are more teams the user has just installed something and it needs to refresh its data right that's this thing it's just a button to basically restart thing okay then auto start um auto start has a place in 23 desktops, right? Arclinks wants you to learn and explore other desktops than the general ones that um, are, are used on other distros. And often they do not have anything to auto start anything. So there is a way here to just say, I want to have Plank next time around and just type the name Plank. This can actually be anything, right? Because this is, this matters, the Plank command run me plank and comment can be anything again and then add it so next time around plank will run if of course eric right if of course sudo pacman minus s plank is installed otherwise how can it run okay so out of starting things desktop is where we install with a very easy way any of our 23 because cutefish is there as number 23 desktops and it's super simple install and sometimes we need to reinstall in the sense that there were some um well you probably have heard of dependencies and, and conflicts between packages so we can have a guy a go and try to reinstall it so it's super simple it's a button and at this point, uh, when do you use this desktop install? When you're still looking for, okay, what desktop do I want to explore? What desktop will I stick with for the coming year or so? And this is the, the way to actually install any of these guys. And they will, some of them will conflict with others, right? That's knowledge you have to uh, learn that, for instance, one of the things we say always is deeping. Deeping is a solo desktop. Keep it alone um, and, and uh, do not go and mix it with all the others. It's something we advise. So we can install it, but we can now also uninstall it. We've 
uh, created a new desktop, Arclinks Desktop Terrasher, and it is also new. This is new. Do not remove the current content of .config. So if you were playing around, and what's inside the .config? Lots and lots, right? Awesome configuration, BSPW and Hedersluft, i3 is here. So lots of things are in here. And what we wanted to do in the past is get rid of everything, delete the .config, and again, copy paste everything from etc scale. If you don't know what that is yet, there is lots of tutorials about the word scale. So type it in in arclinux.com or arclinux.d, it will be mentioned everywhere. The thing is now, by default, we won't touch the .config. Meaning, if we install Awesome, Awesome will be here. And when we trash Awesome, the way it is now, the folder will stay here. The .config will not be touched. Right? Do not remove the current content of .config. So it's entirely up to you. If you want to remove it, it's just like this then, then you activate it and otherwise we'll keep off. So keeping off is I think the best idea to have as default. And then Qtfish is here, trash the desktop, boom. And Qtfish is gone again, right? It's as simple as that, removed. You can always do Ctrl T and type XD. XD is showing you what I've got already installed on my machine. I've already i3 and Qtile and XFCE, three desktops in one. Then there's the grub. Grub is when you boot up and we have a beautiful logo here or whatever, a wallpaper, right? But there are other nice ones. But to be honest, I still like the one we've chosen years ago. And, but again, it's just a simple click, apply or go to your own um, this does not have any wallpapers but go to your own wallpaper folder and try it out it all depends how your resolution is how the image is that it will be nice or ugly my tip is use abstract things then it doesn't really matter never faces because they they get stretched and all that depending on the resolution of your machine Fixes, that's new. Articlinks fix Pac-Man keys, right? We had these issues with keys in beginning of August. That's why we had this holiday release and fix keys with basically these are all Articlinks scripts and we run them. It's a GUI to run a script. Fix me my keys. Voila, Pac-Man Pac keys are fixed. Set Osbeck, get Arch Mirrors. Normally, you know what's um, with the text that we provide, you should know what's happening, right? So, get the original Arclinux ETC SADM. When things really are broken, we reset everything back to the original state, and that's the idea. Sometimes people have issues with key servers, so Pac Man can't get a key. That, um, can be fixed with this button. You go check what happens to that particular file because we always tell you what's changing where, right? Something changed in here, something changed in here. So this was a user on Discord who had messed up his pacman.conf and the Arch Linux repos were not there anymore. So reset pacman.conf. We download it from the internet, we put it on your machine. Problem solved. Lightm is for people and it's it, this exists right so please share the knowledge that there is hardware out there that does not like sdm these guys need to go to lightm so this is a nice little button it basically says the same as we would type a pseudo pacman minus s light dm and then light dm gtk creator gtk reader and if you like to do gooey kind of stuff and then with also the light dm gtk greeter settings right so that's the gooey to set things in light dm gtk greeter so this will be installed by clicking that and then you have not enabled it so it's it means it's 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 gonna be light dm next time around and um, hopefully, right, everything is going to be working just fine for you. So 
it's a check as you see we check is that file there no then we show you and if the file is there and by now it's there you'll see you can auto login and you can change the desktop to auto login mirrors this is um well that's the ends we've, we've got ends in our pants right remember the sentence when i told you that the bandwidth of seat host was just all out and we went from bike to end as a url in the seat host and that's this idea what if there was we created a possibility that you could save us bandwidth and that's this don't enable it so enable seat host repo do not enable it and save us bandwidth where is it coming from now well it's coming from belnet and belnet is free right it only means that you are 12 hours maximum behind because twice a day it's gonna uh, make a mirror from seat host from the end seat host gonna mirror it to belnet and you'll get it uh, well like i said maximum 12 hours later the guys who are beta testers they should enable it because we need to test immediately the packages the new packages before you get them right neofetch that's um, a way to show you nice things and maybe you want to show other nice things and meaning that these are all variables and a variable can be hidden or can be shown uh, and so on the show font and apply and next time around there's more information on it and that's all it is right it can also have images as just for for show pacman is where you enable repos at this point in time now i'm an arch linux system basically because when i do an update there is just arch there core extra community multi-lib there will be no more updates from Arclinix packages. You are strictly Arch, okay? So that's one way of doing things. And the test repos is for the beta testers on and off. Exactly the same for the Arch Linux stuff. You can enable them or not. Chaotix repo, lots of kernels in there to try out, enable or not. And if you enable, for example, Chaotix repo, you'll see it in the PAMAC. This is PAMAC, repositories. You'll see Chaotix and you can have a look what's in there as you can have a look what's in here. These are the big guys, Vivaldi, Whitefine, right? Bitwarden, bin, brackets, brave. Privacy. So it used to be called HBlock. We've um, called it now privacy or privacy security. And we can enable HBlock and this was more an idea than, than anything. Can we make a switch to install stuff? Install uBlock origin, yes. Click again, uninstall, right? So that's an easy way via programming, via ATT, to install and uninstall something, a uBlock origin extension for privacy. SDM has been completely changed, so we went away from the application SDM configuration. We'll just remove it from our machines, from our ISOs. It's not gonna be there anymore. We will rely on our own code. And it's, it all matters because SDM has now two files to govern its settings, and we are actually following the KDE or Plasma rules for it. So that's a good thing. You can change anything you want. You can install more um, themes and select it. You can install another cursor si system or a cursor theme, I mean, and then type here what it, its name is. You can remove it again, keep the default as a switch, apply SDM conf from Arclix. There you go again, you broke something. So you wanna have the standard settings back so everything is working again. So enable SDM, remember LightDM is now enabled. SDM is the other way of um, as login manager or display manager, both names apply. And this is actually saying, no, 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 no. I want to stay with SDM, no LightDM. So it has now again been enabled next time around. I'll have my SDM. 
refresh the list basically it's a restart of the machine so for instance if you've um, installed something uh, maybe I can make some more publicity for the theme sudo pacman minus as there is so much so not so many uh, application uh, sorry themes for SDM it's really is astonishing and this one is a nice one simplicity SDM theme so if you wanna if you have installed something you found something on the internet you wanna say I want to select it it's not there unless it was already installed right in this case it was but if it's not eh, refresh the list of SDM and then it's a drop down and you can select okay oh next time around i want to have simplicity apply all right now maybe you are an alias kind of guy and that's good because we have so many aliases so go and have a look i mentioned it now because i just just thought about it that this thing and that thing is basically already covered for years to light dm that's the same thing as going for here it is now it's, it's now activated um you go to light dm you activate you install light dm and activate it and the other one is to sdm which is basically saying let's install sdm and activate it so enable uh, technically We've uh, re improved the terminals. Um, you see here what you can do. Running Alacrity themes in a terminal is super easy. Why make an application for it if there is something as easy as this? And it really is an awesome way of doing things. If it exists, we say use it, right? So this is Alacrity. You see it here, terminal, Alacrity. And we need to run or type Alacrity and then dash themes. And if you select it, see what happens, right? You can actually go over everything and say, okay, I'm gonna stick with this one. Enter, that's it. It's now this one, forever and ever, until you change. Now the Arclix XL has all the themes because we love themes. It's gonna be on there, but everything else, Arclix D is base, bare, minimal, nothing. And all the Bs are also very minimal. So if you are on a B, you just say, I'm going to install Alacrity, I'm going to install this, I'm going to install that. And then, of course, if you've installed it, then, of course, after that, you can select the termite theme here. XFCE is simple, F12, there, there is uh, XFCE, so new fetch. So this is your, where are you? Here, XFCE for terminal, right mouse click, preferences use the tools of the machines right of the applications and here are all kinds of coloring um, this may be a nice one voila chosen and so on right you choose the things you like and want that's terminals theming has been improved also considerably because we have now a drop down we used to have that but we have also images that change so more or less it's not well you see some changes right it's it's a minimal kind of thing it's a the menu and the borders will change but at least we see something and the same applies for awesome wm if installed if not installed it triggers you it makes you curious and they say i want to have this okay desktop awesome install you got it you have for your awesome and then you can do a restart of the ATT, right? It needs to recheck what is on my system. Oh, look at that. Awesome is there, it will say. And then it's gonna say, let's change multicolor or let's change to power arrow or let's change to power arrow blue. But now I can apply because now awesome is there. There you are. It's gonna write to a file and he even has made a nice backup. Qtile, same applies, changing and we'll make new themes. So we have more choices there. People wanted to have the tool to create a user. Now, creating users couldn't be easier, but yeah, right? 
it's always knowledge where do i find the way to create a user we are a university we want you to grow into linux so you basically never go back <laughs> that's the point because you feel and you not only feel you know you're in control of your operating system and that's the point we need to get you to that level this is the line user add minus m minus g users put them in all kinds of groups and give them a shell and tell them hey i'm eric and you got a user so that's what we've done right if that all is too complex then you just say i'm eric well i need to take another name because i'm already eric right so some other name a brother a sister a father a mother and then you create the passwords and but that you have yourself a user which is in this case an administrator last thing is ZSH um, maybe a quick mention again about users some of the desktops out there 23 right some of them have it they have their own tool plasma has their own tool this is basically a copy paste of the layout of plasma right and behind it we just made well you saw the line that's it behind there right so some of the desktops will have it and others will not have it so here it is the tweak tool as a bridge between desktops zsh themes um love the random thing right Control t Control t Control t it's always a different prompt you see it's always others another way of looking at things and that's cool it's fun but um maybe and that's another um change and i should certainly mention arconix surfy for it so if you see his name he has um, put all his energy and time into developing and figuring out how to create these changes because when we select something look at that everything changes with it right and you see here you see his name even right surfy so we've we've made scripts well he has made scripts to to make an image of all the themes that are there and will be there because look at that but in five years time probably 20 more or 100 more i don't know but we have at least a look at things and this one one of the guys i like agnoster right so um all these changes are just great and i see here another button i should explain so to bash to zsh to light dm to uh, sdm these are all aliases and basically behind his here let's forget forget about zsh i am now on zsh right and i can always decide to go back to bash done i'm back in bash or no 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 i want to go back to zsh no no shell changed for user i am back on zsh and if things break right you can break things in linux then you can always reset all right i think i think i've mentioned everything um i hope you like our att there are still so many things in our head time will uh well there is time needed to develop all these things and um in the meantime enjoy Arklicks. Cheers.